Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to a Microsoft update here. I thought I would do this. I uh, just thought I would take a look at this. Scott was asking me about this yesterday. Uh, next target on Microsoft is 50. It's going to get there. Look at the market. It's amazing. And uh, Microsoft is actually moving ahead of the market. So the market had a beautiful rally today and is going to make a new high into next week. And so based on that, look at what Microsoft, the way it's acting in the last few days. So Microsoft is lifting and moving ahead of the market. That's a good sign for this stock. Therefore, with the market lift, this will continue on to the next target, which is $50. And I'm not saying it gets there like in a couple of days. I'm saying that's the next longer term target for this. But with the help of the market, it could get there sooner rather than later. So... This is a nice long. I mean, this has just really, really gotten going here. This big green bar that happened here, this was this week actually on the 16th. I don't know if there's a reason for this or not, but it was a good buy here. And then what happened here with the day when it read, read yesterday, well, first of all, the market came in yesterday and there was some news generated stuff, but even still, this market might have held, uh, this gap might have held yesterday if it weren't for the market pulling in. But it came in because people took profits. It's a chancy place, though, to really take profits in this. Because if you, if, it, if you see a bar like this, okay, and you're in this for the longer term, I'm talking about a longer term trade here now, where you can, can afford to hold the trade and be in the trade for a long period of time, you really want to see this go. Uh, $50 is very likely. And you don't want to get out of it as soon as you see one green bar. It's like exiting something immediately if you see one green bar. If you took that overnight to just do a swing trade as an overnight, quickly, 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 you'd be out of it. But that's not really why it did what it did there uh, yesterday, because it really was a good bullish gap and could have continued. But this has many, many more numbers to go and uh, great look to it here. I mean, this is this is again is just getting going as well. So if you're in this for a longer term, there's absolutely no reason to get out of this. It's just started. Uh, it's crazy if you're into something for a long term to get at something with one big green bar. OK, this is this is not what I would call a megalodon bar. It's a nice bar. It's a nice bar for this chart. This isn't what I call megalodon. It's not like climactic or something like this. And the chart has barely gotten going. This, was, this has had a, a, a waiting period all of March, all of April, all of May, all of June, in the beginning of July. The stock is just starting to get going too. But the good thing about this is this is lifting here now ahead of this market, getting over the high. And that I like about this. That I like about this a lot. So really short-term next target for this is 46 and eventually we'll get to 50. It looks like a good number for this, although I just don't know the timing of that exactly. But 46 is the next target, and look how well this held today. It, this held today in the sky today. This held right in here. It held the low from yesterday, even though the stock came in right in the day, held the low. This could trigger a buy setup over 45 on Monday and go higher and go up to 46 next week. Okay, nice move here. And if you're in this long, you can be in it for a longer term, you're looking for some bigger numbers, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not doing anything wrong. It's nowhere near extended. It's lifting ahead of the market. It's a good bullish chart. And again, remember, bullish stuff, stuff that's strong, stuff that people want. If you can afford to be in it for the longer term, hold it. You're going to get paid because you've not seen anything yet with this market, like I've been saying. You have not. It is going to have a massive, massive move here. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it in every video to remind people over and over and over again. Over. You ain't seen nothing yet with this market yet this year to the upside. So you, if you can afford to stay in these stocks, if you don't need to cash out of these to pay your bills, then stay with these trades if you're already in this. This is a good, good, good long. And people that are bullish are going to get paid. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Have a great day, everybody. Have a fantastic day. This is MSFT. Good bullish move here. Nice bullish gaps. Should follow through next week. Good long in Microsoft. If you'd like more information on the upcoming gap class, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Next class is next weekend, July 26 and 27. Great time to learn how to trade gaps for earnings season for this quarter. Going to be a good July here and August month trading gaps. Have a great weekend, everybody.